How's it going guys? It is 3.41 a.m. 28th of November here in Japan and we have a difficult question for biochemistry for step one. I know some of you will think this is easy. It's not. Okay, so it's a hard question. Past level diagnosis, hard answer choices. Let's just cut to the chase. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at moment underscore medical, M-E-H-L, man underscore medical. The links down below. Find me on Telegram. The links to the Telegram group and channel are down below. And i start the clip. So 63-year-old man. He has acute exacerbation of COPD. He is disoriented. He has a wide-based ataxic gait. Examination shows weakness of abduction of both eyes and nystagmus on lateral gaze. Deficiency of which the following uh, is responsible for this patient's condition, okay? Now, I said that this is a passable diagnosis. This is Wernicke encephalopathy, okay? This is thiamine deficiency. It could be due to his alcoholism, presumably, which isn't even mentioned here. Yosemite doesn't have to say that, okay? And you say, well, what about the acute exacerbation of COPD? Infections can sometimes precipitate a Wernicke, an acute Wernicke encephalopathy and alcoholics, all right? And I have a very fucking easy way for you to remember uh, what you see in Wernicke. The mnemonic that I came up with is a cow, like the animal, okay? A cow, ataxia, confusion, ophthalmoplasia, Wernicke, all right? And if you just add confabulations on top of it, which is due to retrograde amnesia, we not, that's Korsakoff psychosis. So if you have both of those together, a cow plus the confabulations, that's just Wernicke Korsakoff syndrome. So this isn't Wernicke Korsakoff. We don't have confabulations here. It doesn't matter. I mean, it's still caused by thiamine deficiency, both of them. But this is just Wernicke. This is just a cow. So let's just move through the answer choices here. What do we need thiamine for? Vitamin B1, okay? Choice A, a conversion of pyruvate to, to oxaloacetate. Wrong fucking answer. This would be biotin, vitamin B7. Okay, so pyruvate carboxylase, it's a, a gluconeogenic enzyme. Okay, so pyruvate can't go backwards to uh, phosphoenol pyruvate and back up to glucose. We have an irreversible enzyme at the end of glycolysis there. So we cumbersomely go from pyruvate down to uh, OAA in the TCA cycle and then back up to PEP. Pretty much nonsense now that the step one is pass fail. Okay, in the past, when we had a numerical step one, sure. I mean, all of the nitpicky biochemistry was fair game. Now it's mostly a waste of your fucking time. In this case, wrong fucking answer. Choice B, conversion of succinate to fumarate, wrong answer. Absolute garbage of an answer choice here. This is riboflavin, okay? So once again, numerical step one, you know, back in the day, uh, succinate dehydrogenase, which converts succinate to fumarate in the TCA cycle, and also FAD goes to FADH2. It's riboflavin. It's B2 dependent, okay? Pretty much a non-existent vitamin on US Amelia. I don't think I've ever seen a question on riboflavin ever uh, on any NBME assessment for step one uh, or step two combined. Wrong fucking answer. Choice C, DNA synthesis, wrong answer. Obviously very generic answer choice here. Uh, this would be for folate B9 as well as B12, okay? And the fact that I wrote DNA synthesis here is because this is exactly what the NBME exam does. They'll give you megaloblastic anemia in a patient, okay? It could be B9 or B12 deficiency, and they will literally just have impairment of DNA synthesis as the answer. You don't have to worry about all the nitpicky stuff about what each vitamin does, okay? You just need to know B9 and B12 they're simply required for DNA synthesis. And if you have deficiency of either, you get megaloblastic anemia. They can show you also a smear with hypersegmented neutrophils. In this case, wrong fucking answer. Choice D, delta ALA uh, synthesis. Okay, so the f wrong answer. So the first step in heme synthesis is succinyl CoA plus glycine via delta ALA synthase and vitamin B6, okay, which is pyridoxine. Uh, and that goes to delta ALA. That actually is high yield for heme. Okay, it sounds extraordinarily nitpicky, but I've taken all of the heme questions from all the NBME exams. So I've taken all the subjects, organized them into folders on my computer, and they love heme synthesis questions for you assimilating. So they could give you acute intermittent porphyria, porphyria cutaneous 
And they could just ask you, like, what's required in the synthesis? The answer could be glycine or succinyl-CoA or vitamin B6, okay? Vitamin B6 also required for transaminases, like ALT, AST in the liver. Uh, there's some nonsense use cases that don't show up on USMLE, like uh, L-DOPA decarboxylase to dopamine or histidine decarboxylase to histamine or glutamic acid decarboxylase to GABA. Absolute garbage, okay? In this case, wrong fucking answer. Choice E, succinyl coisensis, is the correct answer. So I said that this was a difficult question. I chose to be trickier with it because thymine is a cofactor for four important enzymes and alpha-ketoglutarate dehydrogenase in the TCA cycle. Alpha-ketoglutarate goes to succinyl CoA. Uh, that's a thymine-dependent enzyme. Okay, I happen to choose that one for this question. All right, not every question I make is going to be easy. I could have made it slightly easier. In fact, I did start off initially because, uh, with uh, acetyl-CoA synthesis because that's all th also thymine-dependent, and then I changed it to make it more difficult. Pyruvate via pyruvate dehydrogenase down to acetyl-CoA in the TCA cycle. That's B1, B2, B3, uh, B5, lipoic acid-dependent. I didn't mention uh, the B2 for it prior, but B2, as I said, is choice B. But they want you to know thymine is required. Uh, B1 is required for pyruvate dehydrogenase, okay, bringing pyruvate to acetyl-CoA. And we said already uh, alpha-ketoglutarate goes to succinyl-CoA. Thymine is also required for transketolase, just some obscure RBC enzyme, also required for branched-chain ketoacid dehydrogenase, another obscure enzyme. Uh, that also happens to be deficient in maple syrup urine disease, okay? So leucine, isoleucine, valine, okay, you, get a, you can't have uh, those amino acids in the diet, uh, impaired ability to uh, break those down in maple syrup urine disease. So that's what you need to know for this question. Uh, ataxia, confusion, ophthalmoplasia, Wernicke, a cow, add, and that's Wernicke and cephalopathy, add confabulations on top of it. We now call it uh, Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome. You know the deal. I'm going to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.